this video i'm going to explain you how to use online recommend software because this is very hard as they have removed the software for revman in the google chrome or any explorer you have to write revman by cochrane and this first link you have to open it revman cochrane training you have to click on login And then here obviously you don't have registration then first sign up for it here fill in your details your given name family name email address password fill all the domains so now you are registered what you have to do go to your email and confirm this registration then what you have to do come back to this Cochrane training website again and then you have to click on login to Revmin once this website opens you have to click create practice view choose this template review so they have this created this uh, template for you now now you start your review what is the criteria for your review article click on review criteria then in the intervention portion you have to write your intervention and control so I'm just randomly writing my intervention as as drug one and control as drug two you can add more interventions too then you don't, don't write anything uh, in the intervention group then in the outcome write your outcome so for example my outcome is survival days because I'm examining the drugs you can write two or three or four outcomes as per you like because you have to do the analysis you you may have to do the analysis on three to four outcomes so here just for practice I'm doing on one you can do on multiple if your outcome is in mean and sts click on continuous in your outcome type then we have to go into studies click on included studies here they have included all the studies for their caffeine sample we just remove all of them and include our own studies So now I'm going to start my own adding the studies. So I'll just start add few of them. Write the ID, study ID that you want to be it to be indicated in the meta-analysis table. Don't write anything in the characteristics or references. It's completely your choice. The most important thing is study arm. Then it will automatically show you drug one and drug two. You can add multiple also, but then you would have to first change in the review criteria. You would have to add more interventions in there. So I'm just randomly adding my results here. Uh, drug 1, drug 2, whatever. These are just random numbers. Write the standard deviation. Total sample size. So here I'm done with my first study. Then I have to add another study. So I'm going to study, include and add another study. So I'm by this I'm adding another study. So here I will just add few more studies for the analysis only. In study arm, intervention one, then control. As I told before, you can add more interventions too. add the results so any means any standard deviation whatever your study says write what sample they included for control what sample they included for intervention
then what you have to go just go to the analysis they have done on caffeine versus deca we remove it add our own analysis just write the name of the analysis which will be survival then go back you have successfully added the analysis in this analysis add analysis again now you I do it automatically because automatically it will include all your studies then write the outcome which is your survival days then write the intervention group and the control group drug 1 or drug 2 in our case the outcomes were these so no need to fill everything to effective measures calculate and mean difference this is very important in your forest plots if your i square value is 50 percent or more than that this means you have heterogeneity and if here it indicates that it's significant or p-value less than 0 0.05 which means your heterogeneity is significant in that cases where heterogeneity is significant you have to go with random effect and if your heterogeneity is not significant you have to go with fixed effect if it's somewhere in between and you are confused it's better to go with random effect i'm talking about this i square value for heterogeneity if you don't see your parallelogram change the scale this is your forest plot for meta-analysis of all these studies the green boxes are showing uh, meta-analysis of every study like where the outcome of every study lie and the um, your parallelogram tells the overall effect of the outcome on this study so it favors drug one because it's in the portion of the drug one the result will be significant only if the parallelogram is not touching this line if the parallelogram is touching this line or in the middle of this line the result will be either insignificant or um, not clear 